after the horrific Valentine's Day shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida the Broward County Sheriff's Office has been taking some heat and for a good reason. It was learned during the massacre that three Broward County deputies waited outside and one cowered in fear as Nicholas Cruz gunned down 17 innocent people in cold blood. Since then, Broward County Sheriff Scott Israel has been in the hot seat as people ask how this could have happened and what is going to be done to ensure this sort of tragedy never occurs again. While Sheriff Israel continues to make excuses for the outcome of this tragedy the calls for his resignation only grow louder. Now, Israel's fate is about to be sealed after what one survivor had to say about the crooked cop's actions on national television that has the entire agency trembling in fear. Over the last week and a half, all eyes in our country have been fixed on South Florida and the tragic shooting that took place there, sparking the gun control debate once again. The American people are perplexed and righty so seeing how this deranged shooter was able to take the lives of so many people and what was done if anything to stop him. The frustration has only increased as we all have learned that, the FBI and the Broward County Sheriff's Office received numerous tips concerning the erratic behavior of Nicholas Cruz the days leading up to the murder. However, the worst of the revelations is that four deputies could have put a stop to the slaughter that was occurring inside the high school but chose not to. That newly discovered piece of information has outraged people across the country including several of the survivors that were forced to endure the tragedy. One of those survivors was Kyle Kashov who witnessed the carnage taking place inside his school and is now speaking out against the Sheriff Israel and his cowardly deputies. In an interview on Fox News, Kyle Kashov slammed the corrupt sheriff stating that he should step down from his position and that was not all he had to say. Here is more from Breitbart, Sunday on Fox News Channel's America's News HQ, Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School shooting survivor Kyle Kashov called on Broward County, Florida, Sheriff Scott Israel to resign over his department's actions leading up to and during the Parkland school shooting. Kashov said, that is definitely where the conversation should be. And it's absolutely outrageous to me that at the CNN town hall, we had the sheriff, who was virtue signaling against the NRA and against guns when he didn't act properly. The armed officer at our school waited outside with the sheriff and his men for four minutes while my classmates died while he sat outside and waited. Then he turns around and says guns are the issue when he failed to act properly. He added, he absolutely needs to resign. He failed to act on so many different levels. And he himself is responsible for this massive failure. This could have been stopped by the FBI and the sheriff's department had they acted. This harsh criticism of Sheriff Israel is in sharp contrast to the mainstream media darling David Hogg who defended the actions of the deputies and the sheriff in another interview that aired on MSNBC Sunday morning. Hogg stated in the interview that he understood why resource officer Scott Peterson and that the spineless cop was a good person who was just scared. The Hill reported, a student at the Parkland, Florida, high school where 17 people were at in a mass shooting last week defended the local officer who did not enter shooting scene. He, just like every other police officer out there at heart, is a good person. He didn't take action in this event, and I can't explain why, there are no words to explain why he wouldn't take action to take out this individual, but I think it's a good example of if he didn't take action and four others didn't, I mean, who does student David Hogg said in an interview on MSNBC. Hogg was referencing Scott Peterson, the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School resource officer and Broward County Sheriff's deputy who has been the subject of criticism for failing to enter the building and defend students during the shooting. Who wants to go down the barrel of an R-15, even with a Glock and I know that's what these police officers are supposed to do, but they're people too, he added. It should go without saying that Sheriff Israel without a doubt should step down from his elected position considering the huge bungling of this case. If the sheriff would have acted on the numerous tips received from multiple individuals concerning Nicolas Cruz's behavior, 17 people would still be here today. However, this gun-grabbing politician chose to ignore the warning signs and then place the blame on legal gun owners and the NRA for his mistakes. Hopey, with enough push from more people Sheriff Israel will step down and then be forced to face justice for his disgusting actions that fateful day. Follow us on Facebook. Proud sponsor, Destin Charter Fishing, from the web powered by Zergnet The disappointing double life of Tim Tebow Navy SEAL who killed Bin Laden gets thrown off plain The truth about the Obama sisters What really happened to Mike Holmes Awkward Olympics wardrobe malfunctions You can't unsee why people stopped watching The Big Bang Theory